Hello everyone, my name is Kishan. So today we are going to see how we can use our iPad for coding. So especially we use our iPad for data science with Python. So using Jupyter Notebook, we can uh, create a data science projects, data science notebook. So we are going to see how we can use that. So for that, uh, we are going to need one app. So go into your app store and type carnets and press enter. So you can see the first app, carnets, Jupyter. We need to download this particular app. So go ahead and download. I already have that. So once I open this particular uh, notebook, so I already have one uh, notebook open. So first thing, uh, if you notice the entire a view is pretty much almost same as your Jupyter notebook so first thing you need to do here uh, set up your base folder so right now if you open your uh, this particular app for the first time the data or the notebook which uh, you are going to create will store somewhere else which you cannot access uh, so that we need to set our local folder as your base folder so click on this particular icon and you can select whichever folder or you can create a new folder and you can assign that folder as your base folder so right now i use this particular folder as my base folder or the base repository after that you can go ahead and click on this file and new notebook once it is created so just you can type the most difficult program that you already know which is the print hello world so you can see hello world and shift enter so you can see this particular block of code is executed so first we need to rename our Jupyter notebook so go ahead in the file and again rename rename with ipad coding or any name you want press enter but you see here the uh, the rename or the rename operation didn't perform so go ahead again in the file click on the open and click on your uh, renamed name that is ipad coding and you can see right now this particular Jupyter notebook with renamed open so again go ahead click shift enter so again it will run this particular piece of code for example you want to import the data set into your this particular app carnets so using same code first we need a library so the library we all know is pandas as pt and we are going to load a data set so we need read excel so right now our data is in excel data sets name is xlsx and we already know to open excel we need an engine which is open pyxl go ahead and just print first five and you can see here five rows of our data set if in the first you get an error uh, which is generally you will get error about xlrd or open pyxl so do one thing just like you did in uh, your Jupyter notebook to install this particular two libraries if you get an import error go ahead use pip install xlrd and pip install open pyxl so using this command you can install any libraries using such structure Apart from that everything you can use shortcuts so if you go under the help you can know what are the keyboard shortcuts so this is pretty much entire Jupyter notebook available and the most important thing is this particular app is free so no money uh, is needed uh, to use this particular free awesome Jupyter notebook app so in the future video i'll uh, go into the deep of this particular app and with some project uh, we'll, i'll try to explain this particular app in much more details so right now thank you everyone